Welcome to the second episode of the CDP4 video series, uh, where I will walk you through the Excel integration that we have for the CDP4. Uh, this Excel integration is what we call the CDP4 Excel add-in, and it gives you the uh, ability to uh, interact with the CDP4 through Excel, so you can get data into Excel and back from Excel into the CDP4 server um, to do fancy analysis like creating mass budgets and power budgets on the basis of CDP4 data that you and your team have created. So what you see here is that, again, the same as with the CDP4 uh, desktop app or IME, we have a ribbon where you see all the buttons. Now some of, our some of them are disabled because we have not yet connected to a server. So let's make that the first thing we do. So in order to connect the server, we click on the open button. I put the name of the server with the same username and password. I open the session. And once that is finished, you see that the other buttons have become active. Um, and here I can open a model, see all the plugins that are available. Um, we can rebuild the sheet later once we've uh, connected or opened an actual engineering model. But here you see that we can already interact with reference data uh, and also with the site directory to create new users or to see what the users are like or even create models uh, the same way that we do from the desktop app. And again, uh, a tab um, that allows you to interact with the requirements that you've created. So let's quickly uh, open a model. Again, the loft model. Let's open that one. And then you see that the iteration uh, group becomes active. So here we can open up the definitions browser, which gives us the uh, all the building blocks that we can use in our model. So it's the same as with the desktop app um, and also the product tree. It gives us the architecture of our, um, of our complex uh, design, in this case, the loft mission, which is a satellite. Um, and one of the things that makes um, this uh, Excel integration so unique is that we can rebuild um, the data and get it into Excel. So what you see here is that I'm going to generate some sheets in Excel. Uh, I select the current uh, workbook that I'm in, and it also tells me that I'm working with the loft model, that I'm in iteration one, and that I'm representing the system engineering domain of expertise. And when I hit the OK button, you see that it starts working and a parameter sheet is already created. And later on, also an option sheet will be created. Those things we will explain to you later. This is just to show you uh, basically the beginnings of what the application can do. So here you see all the parameters that coincide with what you see on the element definition browser. And here you see option one or the default option, uh, which reflects what you see on the product tree. So now we can interact with this data uh, and make fancy things with that, but that's for a later video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.